It's time for the Mexican Grand Prix here on F1 Manager 2022. And Ferrari were looking pretty good going into this weekend. Realistically, the championship is between Carlos Sainz and Leclerc. But realistically, it's Carlos Sainz who's going to win it. Because, I mean, you know, he's just got such a lead. Ferrari, we've won the constructors. We're going to win the drivers. We're loving life, if we're being honest here, down in uh, Mexico. Mexico City, but it looks like early on Red Bull have the advantage. Uh, we have five tenth gap over there, which is a pretty big worry. But moving into qualifying, Leclerc seems to have upped the pace. And then Q1, we managed to uh, claw it back. Bottas looking quite ghastly, looking quick. It's kind of just like like the people are high rated, man. Like they just like seem to drag their car be fucking nowhere right up there. Um, and then Q1, as you can see, there's quite a bit of grid penalties, but hopefully that for us is not too bad. But Leclerc, again, fastest, uh, Magnussen, Guan Yu and Lando Norris will all be receiving penalties. And we move on to Q3 as Carlos Sainz go around the final corner. And to be honest, guys, he just never had the pace. And the reason why he didn't have the pace, Leclerc does stick it on pole. Was, I think it was a, a very weak engine, so I, I went for one final engine change, you know, in, in, in this race. Um, it is going to give Carlos Sainz a penalty, sadly, but at the same time, it means he can uh, get a quick engine and hopefully we can see a similar performance to Lewis Hamilton in Brazil in 2021 where he just put a new engine in his car and he absolutely annihilated it the rest of the grid, so hopefully Carlos Sainz can do a job here as we go in to the Bra the Brazilian, it's the Mexico, the Mexico Grand Prix, there is the Aston Martin safety car, and hopefully we can, uh, mo moving on up, but aye, it's a pretty, it's a mixed up grid, um, to a degree with all these penalties and all that good stuff, but you know, some things stay the same, and it's a Ferrari and a Red Bull on the front row, but we've got Bottas and Gasly in behind, then it's Perez Hamilton, and with Rain on the way, who knows how this race is going to play it, but realistically, for Statman Leclerc, need Carlos Sainz to bottle it, stick it in the wall, or something, in order to, like, ignite their championship chances, but even then, man, you'd still expect Sainz to get the finger out in the last couple of races, but moving on, a few laps Alonso was looking in a good position, absolutely just fucking flies off the track and rejoins in 19th place, Nicholas Latifi last, abysmal. But now we've got quite a few drivers diving into the pits as the intermediate tyres are required because of the wet weather. But the problem is we actually might need full wet. But the problem is in real life no one uses the full wet because it's just too slow, even if, the t even if the conditions require it. But as you can see here, Everyone is struggling, and everyone who didn't pit lost a serious amount of time. And Carlos Sainz, who had that problem um, with the engine and dropping down the grid after quality, as you can see, is absolutely flying here and has rejoined the race in P3. He's undercut loads of guys, and there's for start my head in, but there's only one problem with that. If you look at how wet the track is, it's actually wet enough for wet tyres. Perez locks up because the conditions are fucking horrendous. You've got half the grid on wets, half the grid on enters. We're trying to overtake for stopping. You've got the likes of Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel stuck on the wets. Everyone pitting here is going on to the wet tyres. And you know what? I was a split second away from pitting the wets with both cars. But thankfully it didn't because I looked at the weather forecast and seen it was going down. But even though there was another um, spell that was going to make it worse. But as you see as the race goes on, we've got Alonso, Gasly, etc. Who are on the wet top compound. But as you see, we're down now to intermediate conditions. Which means they're just beginning to lose a shit ton of time. Which means they've had to pit. They've had to pit. And it's a bit of a disaster for these sort of guys like Gasly, Magnus and Vettel. You know that, and, and people like Alonso, they've just uh, literally thrown away like great a great position. You know, like literally like a fourth place. But as you see, guys, the track is beginning to dry up. We are pushing these enters because there's no point conserving them when they're not gonna when the track's drying up as quickly as it is. But it looks like we could probably just go medium to the end of the race. But as you can see, we're pitting here for the medium, both of them that lap. But as you can see, Leclerc's got quite a comfortable gap over the rest of the field. So everyone is coming into the pits now for the medium tyres and <coughs> chaos 
again, I mean, there is no more threat at end. I mean, I guess you never know. I mean, at least this game, like, you actually probably have a real chance of it going. It does go on and off. I mean, I feel like in the F1 game, like the actual game, it just goes once it goes off, it goes off. But moving on a few more laps, George Russell looking for a move on Valtteri Bottas and just absolutely rear ends him. Like what happened in Imola 2021, absolutely uh, disgraceful. And to be honest, it didn't even lose Bottas that much time. But as we move on, um, loads of people's tyres went off, I noticed here. Guan and Daniel Ricciardo pitting. Um, you've got Lando Norris running in P4, and all these people, all they had to do, right? All they had to do was stay out and, and see if they could drag their tyres out. But no one could. No one fucking could, which is absolutely um, insane. And then, and then at this point, you knew with signs he was going to get overtook by Max Verstappen. And as you can see, Leclerc wins the race. Verstappen crucially overtaking signs, which means Leclerc actually gains a bit more points on the championship leader but I mean if the order I mean look at this he's lapped everyone up to there he's finishing 25 seconds clear it's an absolute dominant performance from uh Charles Leclerc everyone up to Lewis Hamilton's been lapped and, he, and even then I mean look look at the gap I mean look at that Hamilton's basically a full lap behind anyway so brilliant but Sainz manages to get back in front of Max Verstappen and that is the way the race is going to finish guys we thought Sainz was going to lose a couple more points to Leclerc, but he didn't. So yeah, Ferrari battling it out, going in to the last couple of rounds. Should be interesting. But aye, till next time, guys. That is the way it's finished. Alonso in the points. Russell, double points finished. Ralph Romeo, Norris doing well for McLaren. But until next time, peace.